Let's talk about all the good you're doing. You're, oh. You've always done an amazing amount of work for the planet and just to, for communities, and mm -hmm. you're trying to help Flint, Michigan. You're 100%. doing something amazing. Tell, tell everybody what you're doing. So I actually just put a water filtration system into Flint, Michigan that does about 10 gallons of water. We were really proud to launch our first water box in First Trinity Baptist Church. To date, it's delivered over 10,000 gallons of clean water and removed the need for close to 100,000 single-use plastic bottles. We realized with number two, we could use it to serve a different group of people in Flint. We've been sending tons of water to Flint since the beginning, but in the form of bottles of water. You know, and when people are showering, when they're doing different things with the water and they're cooking with it, bottles of water aren't the most efficient thing. We are a bottled water community now, you know, instead of the freedom to just go turn on the faucet and be able to get water. What do you do when the government is not doing anything? You do the best you can. If someone came in here now and said the water in Flint was totally drinkable, most of us would not drink it. So that's where the water box comes in. People can come with like five gallon drums or like even a 10 gallon drum, you can come and fill up and it'll, you'll just fill up for free in 60 seconds at First Trinity Baptist Church. We've had such a great success with the water box. I believe to date we have replaced over 65,000 16 ounces of bottled water and that's just the astronomical number. You see the First Trinity water box was delivering water during the daytime. And that was hard for people who were at work or in school to have access to the water box. So we needed to work with a partner who could help us deliver the same clean water, but later in the day. So it was more convenient to those in need. I will go to the store and just go on and purchase water instead of being out there in the line because my schedule might not allow me to do that. And that's when we found Metropolitan Baptist Church. We've seen you heal the sick. We've seen folk laying flat on their back in a hospital room, but God, you raised them back up again. This church called me to be their pastor uh, about four years ago. And so I arrived in Flint in 2015, right when the water crisis blew up. We decided to make Metropolitan the location because they have a great connection to the community. We decided it was perfect for our next water box, physically and spiritually. We try to do everything we can to help people live healthy lifestyles. We've tried to focus on good nutrition, exercise, and talking to some health professionals if you have had lead exposure are three of the ways that you can fight against it. So we have two weight rooms downstairs. We have a basketball program here. We've had healthy cooking classes here. We've done tap dance classes here. We try to construct programs that address those areas. Their church is in a residential area. And so residents who literally live next door can come over and get clean water. We just thought that it would be a natural fit for them to further their community mission by way of having a water box. We were trying to redevelop this neighborhood and make it a neighborhood that once again, people would be proud to live in. Speaking about what we did in Flint, I actually got you a present that I would actually love to show you. Okay. I actually got you a, a water filtration system in your name that I'm actually gonna donate and put into Flint. Yeah. This actual box is going to be in Flint, providing clean water for people on pretty much a weekly basis. We thank you for those who have funded these water boxes. We thank you for everybody who's trying to do something to help this city. And I'll just let you all know up front, there is no cost, no cost associated with this program. And I think that speaks to the integrity of the 501c3 team. The water is here, and we should be able to have as much clean water as we need. And if the city can't provide it, then you should be able to provide it for yourselves. 
The water box was designed to return control back to the people of Flint so that they could have in their hands the access and safety of their water. Part of that was educating a younger group of students in Flint about how the water box works and how to assemble it from the ground up themselves. The Ellen box was assembled in Flint by science students from local schools, Kettering University and Sylvester Broom Empowerment Village, giving kids hands-on experience with making impactful technologies. In any tragedy, there comes some opportunity. And Flint actually, in my opinion, is beginning to turn around. I think things are, are getting better. I think they still have a long way to go. It's going to take probably a generation before people begin to trust the water system again. And so the water box gives people a peace of mind, uh, knowing that even if people say that the water is clean coming straight out of the tap, that it's going through another process to make sure that you're receiving purified water. Oh my goodness, Ellen, we are just so grateful for your generosity and just remembering Flint. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen.